All right, waiting for everybody to get on here for Titan Talk Tuesdays, early edition. Let's see how many people join us for this really, really early version of Titan Talk Tuesdays. Um, usually I'm at five or six o'clock every Tuesday, but I'm out of town. What's going on, everybody joining me in? I appreciate all you guys joining me in Titan Talk Tuesday, early edition. I'm out in New York City with the fam, doing some family stuff and going to see the Mets versus the Yankees tonight at City Stadium. So that's where the Mets play, if you guys didn't know. Big shout out to everybody joining me on here. Mohammed, King Sneero, Tom, uh, Louie, Steve, uh, Digital Path, Johnson, Hale, Edgar Milk. What's going on, everybody? I appreciate you guys joining me. I got some great topics for you guys today as far as what you guys can do to help you guys perform look your best and feel your best. And if you guys got any questions about what we do or you guys want any questions about the therapies or how you can achieve certain goals is such as weight loss, lean muscle gain, better sleep, better mental clarity and thinking, cognitive function, um, you know, just living an overall better quality of life. We can talk about all those things. And remember, Titan Medical Center covers nationwide. So whatever you guys are interested in from hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, or whatever it is we offer, we will service you guys nationwide. So it's real simple and easy to become a patient. And if you guys are with somebody else and you guys aren't happy where you're at or not liking the results, you guys can easily switch over to Titan Medical Center, which is so simple and easy. Um, it's really, really crazy how easy it is. So let's get into it. Titan Talk Tuesday, because this might be a little shorter one because I got to start getting ready here soon. So let's talk about the therapy of the week, L-carnitine. So L-carnitine is a therapy that we offer here, and L-carnitine is an amino acid. L-carnitine has a lot of great benefits. It's all natural to the body, which is one. So there's there's no negative effect, per se, if you want to use L-carnitine, right? There's no side effects. It's really, really, uh, it, it's recognized by the body, right? And at that point, it helps in a lot of different ways. So we talk about these different ways. What's up, YG Lee? How you doing? United Fit Model, what's going on, brother? Hope all is well. J. Pape. So we talk about L-carnitine. L-carnitine is, like I said, amino acid, and it's great for two main functions that you might be interested in, losing weight and gaining muscle. So let's talk about it. So L-carnitine helps with utilizing and boosting your own metabolism, right? So um, your metabolism starts boosting up. It starts moving a little bit quicker. Everything starts functioning a little bit better. That's one thing, right? Helps with nerves, uh, and, and a number of other things. But when we talk about muscle gain, so we know if we boost the metabolism, we're hopefully gonna lose more weight, right? Especially if we're actively um, exercising and actively have a good nutritional diet and you're getting some sleep and stuff like that in there. So it does. So YG Lee was bringing this up and this is where I'm going with this. So L-carnitine does increase the androgen receptors. So it doesn't increase more androgen receptors, but it makes the androgen receptors uh, more open to absorbing the androgens that you're putting in your body. So testosterone. And, you know, testosterone is something you can take along with it. And testosterone is something that we do for replacement, right? So for males or females. Um, but if you want to really utilize the muscle gain off of testosterone, there are also a couple of different therapies I could recommend. But L-carnitine is one major function um, that you can utilize to help the androgen receptors absorb more of the great testosterone that you're intaking in your body, which is key, right? You don't want to take testosterone and not be able to utilize it, absorb it, and put it forward. So at that point, that's why we really want to, um, you know, use L-carnitine. L-carnitine, like I said, it's an amino acid, and your body is built on amino acids. Amino acids are building blocks of protein. So they're very, very important for your body. I know they often get overlooked, and everybody talks about EAAs. So EAAs are essential amino acids. There's non-essential and essential amino acids, and our body needs all of them. The difference between essential and non-essential is, is essential amino acids, they have to be supplemented, right? Where non-essential amino acids do not need to be supplemented. So when we talk about essential amino acids, the main three that we usually talk about are branch chain amino acids. And all three, and the only three of them, are all essential amino acids. So we talk about leucine, valine, and isoleucine. Those are the three and only three essential amino acids that are branch chain amino acids, all right? So the only branch chains that are out there. So you, know, you have to get them for, for uh, a number of different things, right? So when we talk about essential amino acids or 
uh, branched chain amino acids, you know, this is what I'm talking about injecting. So we have injectable, we have our Titan Strong injectable, which is just your branched chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And you can pair that up with Hercules Potion, which has nine different amino acids from glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, L-citrulline, proline, taurine, NAC, and L-carnitine. And you got yourself one hell of an amino mix that's got so many different things as far as how it can help you health-wise and give you great benefits from what you're doing in the gym and your eating, right? When we talk about some of these different amino acids like essential, I often get the, uh, the, the, the putback uh, or the rebuttal from somebody saying, I don't need to do the injectable or supplement it. I'm getting this all for my food. Okay. We well, are supplementing through your food then at one point, right? And when we talk about this, you know how hard it is to get all of your basic nutrition, basic nutrition, not abundance of nutrition, but basic nutrition through food. Super, super hard, especially for people that are not disciplined enough to do it, um, you know, to look for these different foods, to add in their diet, to be able to eat every day. And the amount of this food that you really have to eat to get all the different benefits from your macros that you really need and from your vitamins and from your amino acids, right? This is the key. A lot of people talk about, about vitamins all day long, but the general public really doesn't talk about amino acids. And if they do, it's just one-offs, like maybe L-carnitine or stuff like that, but they really don't get into it. And we know that glutamine is another big amino acid that's in every um, you know, recovery uh, supplement that's out there or uh, you know, muscle building supplement because L-carnitine, or excuse me, Glutamine is essential for this, right? And it's not an essential amino acid, but it is, uh, you know, it is an amino acid that is essential to your lifestyle. Jarrett, what's going on? Uh, Justin, I'm glad, man. I'm glad I could bring that. So, you know, let's talk about it. So, you know, when we talk about hormones, you know, we don't really talk about the other hormones. We really talk about testosterone. That's the main one that I hear from a lot of people. How do I get my testosterone up? What does testosterone do? Is testosterone a steroid? Is testosterone gonna hurt me? Is this testosterone gonna make me bald? Um, you know, is it gonna cause me a heart attack, stroke, DVT, or blood clot, or stroke? So we do talk about testosterone a lot because there's a lot of stereotypes out there, myths that need to be busted or have been busted, and we really need to educate people on their health and their body. Because a lot of people don't know about their body or don't know some of these different hormones that are going on inside their body that are doing different things inside their body that they have no idea. So, and they want to know, right? They want to know, listen, how do I sleep better? How do I have more energy? How do I get a better lean body mass? How do I improve my quality of life? You know, these are things that go right along up with hormones and hormones direct all these different things I've just talked about. And we talk about energy and lean muscle building and boosting metabolism and better concentration and better performance in the bedroom, performing all the way around better, right? Improving quality of life. We do to talk about testosterone, but we need to have a harmonic balance with the other um, hormones that are in there, like estradiol for males, or progesterone, or um, different things like uh, you know DHEA for some people at that point. SHBG we need to look at sometimes. Cortisol is another hormone we need to look at that could really, really um, put a brick wall up in your progress if you're trying to accomplish, you know, a better body look, um, because when we talk about cortisol, we talk about some of these different things that will bring you down. And having high cortisol can bring you down. And I don't mean that bring you down literally, but I'm talking about bring your body down. As far as you depositing more fat in your body, you not feeling as good, lethargic, these different things can be affected by cortisol. So it's something that you might need to check into because listen, there's a number of 100 and 100,000 or 100 million different supplements out there. And some of these different things are not, they're not regulated to a certain extent, right? Where there's not somebody looking at every single product and saying, this product is safe. Everything that's in this is going to work just like this. It's not like that. So you're really playing sort of like a game of, of chance when you're talking about supplements. And when we talk about things that are supposed to affect our body, and one I want to talk about is ashkawanga. Ash, ashkawanga? Some Ash, Ashkawanga or something along that, right? Um, and when we talk about this one, we need to talk about, you know, how this could affect cortisol. Now, my son was taking this, this supplement, right? It was a, a grow supplement, like a height supplement for kids. So he started taking it, right? It has Ashkawanga in it. 
And he started taking it, taking it, taking it. Well, I blood test my son, you know, and I, I see, listen, what are his hormones like? Where's he at? I want to make sure everything's running right for him so he's good to go, right? I think blood testing is essential no matter what age you're at, especially when you start getting your teenage years, um, starting to look at different things because environment, food sources, all these different things can affect your kid and affect your kid's development and, uh, and be with them for a lifetime as far as that, if it has affected them. So, you know, looking at your blood, your blood work as a kid or getting blood work for a kid would be essential to do like, you know, through your pediatrician or whatever it is and tell them you want to run some different tests on them to see where they're at and to make sure that they're good. But for my son, uh, we ran his blood test. I ran a fully in-depth blood test panel on him, ran testosterone, estrogen, uh, progesterone, DHEA, cortisol, like all these different things. And what do we find? We find that his cortisol is low like low and having low cortisol is no good either besides depression all these other different things people not motivated so you don't want too low of a cortisol and you don't want too high it's all about harmonic balance and that's my biggest point for today is not overdoing one aspect but being able to do the whole thing um, or not looking at one particular object in a picture but looking at the whole picture overall and at that point, being able to decipher what's good, what's bad, and what you need to go in this. So that's it. Where is Big Drew? Big Drew will be here on Fridays. So he'll be in with Titan Lifestyle. And hopefully I'll be in the office for Titan Lifestyle this week. And we'll be with Big Drew in say, 2 p.m. if you guys are looking for that. Um, but that's it, guys. I mean, I just want to talk about those points. I know it's a really small uh, Titan Talk Tuesday for today. But I got to get ready. I'm in New York. But I wanted to shoot that out to you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll be back with another Titan Talk Tuesday next Tuesday, probably at five o'clock next Tuesday. So tune in, have your questions ready. Um, I'll have some more different topics to talk to you guys about. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next week on Titan Talk Tuesday with me, John CEO of Titan Medical Center. Thanks, guys.